This is the Sloan Zone. Welcome. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about, boom, The Way of Kings. Uh, I love this book. It's the book one of the Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. Book two is also quite epic and amazing. Look at the, the size of this. You could easily get as buff as Zac Efron just doing this right here. Uh, awesome book. You got to read it. The whole thing is with Brandon Sanderson. He's an amazing epic writer. I find myself often loving one of his storylines more than the other. So as I read it, I'll often just stick with one of the stories and skip ahead in chapters and then come back and read the other stories. I know, Brandon, if you're listening to this, uh, you're not going to like that. <laughs> but it's just, it's, I, can't, I can't get away from that. You know, it's binge watching. I can't leave Kaladin's story because Kaladin is too awesome. So the fact that we have two other point of view characters or more in between, it just, it kills me. I have to read the Kaladin stuff. So if you're curious what Kaladin is, people reading, a little bit of spoilers perhaps, uh, so watch out. The main point is, he used to be a soldier, he became a slave, uh, he's part of these people called the Bridgemen, who carry these bridges across big chasms, and they're fighting these Parshendi, these other warriors who are kind of like uh, an alien race of sorts. They're not aliens, it's fantasy world, but you know what I mean. They're kind of like different, they have uh, like hard kind of shells growing out of their backs, like turtles or something, but not really. And uh, <laughs> kind of more like armor. They, they have like armor that's part of their skin. Uh, so pretty cool stuff there. But the bridge people, the bridge men, they die all the time because they have to carry these bridges across. They're getting shot with arrows as they're trying, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And he starts learning that he has some kind of special powers. He's visited by this thing called Sil, which is like a little, it's like a little woman spirit thing of light. Uh, they have different names for them in the book, but the main point is that he starts realizing that he might be connected to this light somehow. He might have even greater, uh, you know, I don't want to spoil it for you too much, but, you know, greater destiny, if you will. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty epic. Uh, he survives this thick, crazy storm where they throw him out there that nobody's ever lived through before. Uh, when they're out there like that, I don't think anybody has. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, but, yeah, his powers start coming out and you see, wow, this is cool. And it's an awesome kind of magic system that has all kind of ties into old mythology and lore inside the book. I think there's even a part where they're talking about at the intro where they're having this whole concept of people who go into the afterlife or the underworld to be tortured, the, the night's radiant, and they leave one behind and abandon their swords and their posts. And this is like this big wow moment. Um, it inspired a book of mine that I'm writing with a co-writer, co um, Michael Leron. Uh, totally different. It's called Modern Necromancy, and it's this whole concept of a guy who's trying to revive his wife from the dead. Uh, it started with this concept that was similar to the prologue here. It started with this concept about kind of dead people coming back and taking over our bodies in a way <laughs> and somebody opening up a, a portal to the afterlife and ghosts walking among us amongst us uh, so yeah you see how it evolved like these ideas you get you get an idea from something like this <clears throat> it goes one direction you start working with a co-writer it goes a totally other direction it's really exciting to see how these stories you know become what they are so Anyway, read the Stormlight Archive. There's going to be a bunch of books on this. It's kind of like, you know, Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time. It's going to be epic, humongous. It's going to be awesome. Take care.